YouTube faithful, it is Saturday. You're in the bonus round. Normally, I just do Monday through Friday, but seeing as it's round two and we have a banger game, the Wolves versus the Denver Nuggets, the top two teams in the West. Some may say my belief is still that it's the Oklahoma Thunder at number two right behind Denver. Yeah, either way, once again, I would rather play neither of these teams if the OKC can beat the Mavs, but whatever, they're softening each other up because I honestly think the Mavs are going to get schooled in approximately six games, and God willing, I can get to one of these round two playoff games because prices are freaking expensive, man, so we're going to have to cash some lineups here. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe. I cover NBA fantasy sports via prize picks, chalkboard, parlay, play all the websites, sleeper included and even some underdog. And without further ado, let's get into this game that we have. Again, there's only one game, so maybe I'll throw in some MLB for you D-Gens. All right, so as you can see, Denver is a four and a half point favorite, which is a lot of points for a playoff game. I imagine that a lot of the public is gonna be on plus four, five Minnesota. I actually think that's a decent bet. Plus four and a half for Minnesota. They're gonna be well rested as well. So this should be a great game on paper. I'm anxious to see the result. And then seeing as there is only one, one game I'm gonna go right here to my partner DG fantasy and I'm gonna odd shop live in real time and we got Rudy Gobert look at this under 27 and a half points rebounds assist is minus 127 on pinnacle now why is that important because prize picks and underdog give you fixed payout structure so you want to try to find something that's 54.5 percent or higher which looks just like this Aaron Gordon under 31 fantasy points he's 26 on DraftKings if you round up all their stats same thing with MGM. I personally will not be going there, but it is plus expected value. Same thing with Mike Conley. Those would be the top two 1v1s. I just don't want to sweat under on Aaron Gordon today, fella. You know what I'm saying? Ant Edwards, under 11 and a half rebounds assists. You hate to see this because I already locked it in yesterday over 11 and a half. I meant to take his PRA but I was literally walking around in Walmart, rushed it in, locked it in, didn't realize it. I have been thinking about his 11 and a half rebounds assist. And now that I see this, I'm just hating life. So that's pretty much probably chalk at all. But Carl Anthony Towns, over 28 and a half points, rebounds and assists. I will talk about him momentarily. And then it just starts to get into no man's land. All right. We do luckily have a game seven coming up between Orlando and the Cavs. How about that series? It surprised everyone. It's going to seven games. And I got to give credit where credit is due. Goat James sent me a screenshot after the Cavs were up 2-0 with a newspaper that said Orlando in seven. Maybe I can get it into the post edit because I told him no chance. And here we are, game seven loading up. How does Yo Donny drop 50 and they still lose? It blows my mind. But folks, I was surgical with that game on the live stream. So make sure you're in the live streams each and every day. What time, Cap? What time are the live streams? They're five central Monday through Friday. Saturday and Sunday, I usually don't do a live stream, but I may later today. I'm not sure. I'm actually trying to go golf if the weather permits. So without further ado, I took Carl Anthony Towns at 18 points. They now bumped it up to 18 and a half. I posted it last night for the court faithful at 18. It gave you that crispy push equity. So now that they bumped that, we can go right over here to his PRA at 28 and a half. We know it's decent. Let's go back over here. Look at this. We're synergizing each other. I don't think I used that correctly here, but whatever. Minus 120 on Pinnacle. Minus 168 on Fandle, which is absurd. Minus 130, minus 120. So if you look at this, what is causing the line to be shown at 53.4 percent and a little bit of a plus expected value in our favor if you just take minus 135 it's this puppy right here minus 168 on FanDuel they always price their lines ridiculous and then you have 30 and a half over here which they're way out of the loop over what is that Bovada or some other type of poverty offshore book yeah I don't know but I will say this, Derek Jones Jr., seeing him back here, man, he didn't even shoot yesterday. I don't care. Someone said, oh, that was a bad pick. No, it was a great play. It literally opened at nine and a half. We got it before then. It went to 10. It is what it is. It was an absolute fantastic play. He actually had two assists. I had his points plus assists at 10 and a half. He had two assists. So all he had to do was get his normal average points and it soars over. Derek Lively cashed. Luca undercashed. 
Kyrie first half under cash. Kyrie second half over cash. Kyrie fantasy cash. Paul George under points cash. Oh, I'm going to get into it. I'm getting on a tangent right now. We're talking about Carl Anthony Towns. So I'm going to put him in. Remember, it's round two, game one. So we don't exactly know what to expect. I think either one of these would be in the mix. I personally have Carl Anthony Towns projected for roughly 28.5 or roughly 29 points, rebounds, assist as is. Seven rebounds, two assists, which is nine and 18 and a half points. So it's going to be a sweat. Okay, Carl Anthony Towns can get into foul trouble real early and then be out of the mix. If you want to do this correctly, I believe your best course of action would be to go over here to parlayplay.io and take the alternate line at Towns at 17 and a half. It's paying 1.5, which is solid. Then you can pair him up with Rudy, Rudy Gobert, 11 and a half rebounds. And then I took the alternate line at Jamal Murray for 19 and a half points. It's 2.87 X, which is absolutely fine. It's almost a three X and you're taking alternate lines. Okay. If you don't want to take Murray, you can take something else, but the priority would be towns and go bear here again promo code crush get your deposit match get 30 free days in the discord and they have these promotions and they are running promotions all may long and speaking of the discord okay yesterday just like the day before was an absolute banger of a day here's go james he's out of poverty he's loving his orlando magic i called out paul george rebounds on live stream Talked about Zubak on the YouTube. Talked about Kyrie on the YouTube. Jonathan Isaac on live stream. Max Struess under the live stream tab. It's critical when that late news. Allen got ruled out. Bang. Captain Crush was on the live stream. Ready to give it to you guys. Westbrook's cash. And they're cashing MLB soccer. Yant 33 cash. Everybody's getting in the mix in May. It's money making May. We put April in our rear view, fella. Watts got a couple of W's. Where am I at? Where's my wallet green? Here I am right here. All right. Bang. Three of four. All these were discussed on the YouTube live stream or in the projection sheets that I post every day. This should have been a cash. Mobley just had an absolute disgusting game. That's why they lost. Mobley, you're trash. You're never going to be that guy. But cash the 2x. Isaac, baby. Free square. Another 2x. I'll take it. Another 5x. I'll take that. Another 3x. I'll take that. Put it in my gas tank. A live slip cash for second half, which you were in the Discord. I told you Powell was paying, playing more minutes. The rotation was condensed, and I told you guys on YouTube, Kyrie's a second half demon. And did I lie? Cash it. Posted this in the live stream, alternate line, alternate line, a discount from prize picks, bang, and another 2x. This was the daily double posted right in the live stream. Zubox, Wagner, and Garland, bang. And then we're back to square one. And that's not even all the slips that cash. Those are just the ones that I was able to find and post before this video. So if you want to join, you can go to captaincrush.net gold package, or you can sign up with any of those partners, get your 30 day free trial, just like parlay play. You can add a promo code. Let's see if it's still active crushing 30 for 30% 30 off. It's invalid right now you hate to see it maybe i'll activate it again after this video otherwise you just have to pay the 24.99 i told you guys that was going away if it works if you try to try it great if not it is what it is pony up boys you'll get your coin back Unlike every other Discord, I actually put my heart and soul into it, and I do the Lord's work. You'll get my projection sheets every day that look like this. This one's for MLB. The one for NBA is being worked on. It'll be posted by the time this video is live, and that's that. So, we're talking about Towns. I did my plug. Now, who else are we going to talk about here? Well, I think you have to take a shot on Jokic's rebounds, and I don't like the matchup. There's Twin Towers, but look at Joker. Look at what he just did to Anthony Davis. He owned him on the rebounding, even though Anthony... Anthony Davis was owning him on the rebound. I hate taking center v center to get rebounds, but the fact of the matter is this, Joker's just been playing championship basketball. He wants to win. They want to go back to back. If you look at the head to heads over here on Outlier, it's absolutely poverty, dude. He's never getting 12 and a half. So this is going to be risky. This only take this proposition, y'all, if you think he's going to continue what he did from the Lakers game against Anthony Davis. The fact that it's 88,000 actually scratch that. I'm off of it. Okay. One slip max. I just noticed there's 88,000 people on it. It just got me uninterested real quick. Maybe take the alternate line at 10. My prior Priority would have been Rudy Gobert like it is on parlay play, but again, they bumped it up to 12 and a half here. I got it last night at 12, and some people I think got it at 11 and a half, okay, which is the alternate line right now. 
So, you take Towns PRA if you'd like. You take Conley's fantasy score because we saw it's plus EV. Absolutely, Conley's been playing playoff basketball. This is probably going to be one or two of his last chance to go on a title run. He used to be the highest paid point guard in the league at one point for you young heads that don't know about Mike Conley. The man isn't going to have a lot of title runs left in his career. I'm telling you, this might be it. So, I will continue to take Mike Conley and ride this train until I'm four off i don't love it but again we have one game and i'm willing to take a chance on variable change and hope that he continues to do what he da does best and then for the lottery props today you know you love the lottery props rudy gobert two and a half dunks is always in play this line's usually three three and a half two and a half i'm taking it the three point attempts let's see six and a half for murray yeah i'm not a big fan michael porter jr at seven oh yeah that gives us push equity that's in the mix remember lottery props are all always one to two slips max you don't anchor these down jamal murray 20 field goal attempts bang absolutely i will take a shot on that as well those are my three lottery props for the day and then the last thing that i'm going to mention here because i'm not even supposed to be doing a video on saturdays you guys are in the bonus round is anthony edwards pra this was at 37 and a half pra now it's at 38 and a half you have to ask yourself do you think anthony edwards is still going to go out there and ball like he did against that poverty team the Phoenix? Phoenix garbage sons you guys have to make that decision okay I, I don't I don't know what is going to happen here like I said I think this is where I will most likely be on his points my model does project him for roughly 28, but I think that's too high. I was able to get him to project for 28 because I slid the minutes up all the way to 42. If Ant Edwards plays 42, I think he's going to be chucking and chipping and hopefully not chalking our slips, and I will get him at 28, comment guy. If he sells, he sells. It's round two, game one. We don't know what's going to happen here. I think either of these are fine. Again, I'm going extremely light today. I'm going to take alternate lines on all my favorite books chalkboard sleeper you name it in fact you guys screw that i am not taking ant edwards points on prize picks because you can get it at chalkboard right now at 26 and a half and it's paying 1.73 there's no way that i'm gonna take it on prize picks at 27 and a half for the 1.73 x that's almost the same as prize picks no shot you take this on chalkboard or you don't take it at all rudy gobert 11 and a half rebounds bang carl anthony town 17 and a half points this is an alternate line these two aren't even alternate lines folks and then joker they have a promo right now 28 and a half points rebounds it's only 1.10 but that line is basically should be an almost for sure a hit i never say for sure or guaranteed but that's 4x 10 to win 48 because the max you can use joker for is 10 dollars. promo code crush get your match send me the email get 30 free days of your discord your boys discord that is and get in the mix remember i tell you guys not to be tribalistic shop around odd shop do it all so forget this i know i just said that but i didn't see him at 26 and a half now i see him there there's no way i'm taking him over here in fact prize picks right now is the worst book to take any of these propositions everything they have is juiced they're taking advantage of the public and i can't even begrudge them a bit because i don't i i can see why they do it they're a business trying to make coins so let me see if there's anything for baseball before i get out of here okay so over here on dg you can see the glass now fantasy under 40 who wants to sweat that springer over six and a half that's always being favored bryce elder over three and a half strikeouts that's the trap line man i can't stand bryce elder so i probably just favor that but i just wanted to show you guys this i personally have him going for 3.5 as you can see there so that's gonna be a sweat man i'm sunburned right now i got this crispy farmer's tan because i was outside and i am sweating bullets right now i need to get out of here bro all right the baseball play that i will tell you to take only because i haven't projected for exactly four is going to be the poverty man himself dane dunning only because it has push equity and since he's projected for four i think that's at worst that you're gonna get i also like this gabby at four and a half hits allowed i haven't projected for five i don't know what's up with dane dunning man he's been striking people out like he shouldn't he's not a strikeout guy he's, he's just not that guy but he's been getting it done so if you want to ride that train with dane dunning i don't know if it's going to be popular or not but maybe we just trust the model here and take it that's up to you guys if you can find it at three and a half i would definitely hop on but even at prize picks there's push equity so with that in mind y'all i appreciate you stopping by the channel hit the like leave a comment know your roles pay the toll i appreciate each and every one of you here's the 
the salute. Good luck in all your contests. The next video will be on Monday. Also, my boy Sketch in the Discord is helping me out with YouTube shorts and TikTok shorts, finding the highlights of these videos, and I'm posting them up, trying to get some engagement. So if you do see those, hit a like, do the comment, do the thing, man. We're trying to keep this train rolling for WNBA and MLB all summer long until the game of football returns. So my brothers and sisters in Christ, good luck, and as always, let's crush.